there's this story that I really want to tell about a boy who felt really unwell, not because of his own health, but of his dear robot that he loves more than himself. You see, the robot was a present from Mother Dear. Because he did so well in his exam, he never feared. But one day, he didn't remember to keep his robot and left it outside. Yes, he totally forgot. So the next day, he found the robot all alone, lying on the ground. But to his dismay, there are reddish brown spots here and there on the robot's body, hands, head, legs for all he care. The virus, the virus, my robot got the virus. The boy cried, he thought his robot is in the minus. I must bring him to the doctor to get rid of this rashes. So to the clinic, he quickly dashes. This is not rashes from virus, my dear boy. The robot is made from iron. I'm sure you know, ahoy. These reddish brown spots are called rust. Because of air and water, know this, you must. TV KPM. Hi everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Chris, and you are watching Slot Tahap Dua here on Didet TV KPM. And the subject for today is Science DLP. But you know what? Before we actually find out what topic we're learning, I just want to remind you. Okay to always practice your SOPs, okay? When you go out, please make sure you wear your mask properly from the top of your nose to the bottom of your chin. And always use hand sanitizers or wash your hands with soap. And last but not least, make sure when you're in public, practice social distancing of not less than one meter. All right, so for today's subject on science, I wonder what are we learning? I did see a robot earlier, but what does it have to do with today's lesson? If you want to find out more, don't go anywhere. Let's get to know today's teacher. Alright, there you go. We have teacher Nina here in class for today. Let's invite her in. Hi, teacher. How Hello, are you? Hello, Chris. It's... Hello, everyone. Uh, it's so good to see you today. <laughs> I am so ready for today's uh, class. But before that, I would like to... S I see a lot of things over here. Uh -huh. And I wonder what we are doing today. But before that, I think we're going to get hands-on. But before we get hands-on, our hands must be clean first. Yes. So let's uh, practice our SOPs. I do have our special DDA TV sanitizer over here. Mm -hmm. So I would like to invite you to apply okay. some. Oh, because, you already have... Ah, I'm wearing okay. gloves right now. But before I put on my gloves, I have already put on the sanitizer. That is very good. Now, I, I don't have gloves yet, so I think I should put on the sanitizer <laughs> first. And also, for those of you watching at home, just for your information, uh, Teacher Nina and I will be wearing our masks throughout the class for today, just for our safety as well. All right. So, earlier, Teacher, I saw... Mm -hmm. I, I, what are we learning? Are we learning about diseases? Are we oh. learning robot <laughs> dancing? You know, what, what, oh, what is today's okay. class about? That is actually a misconception that some kids have, okay. where they, whereby their uh, iron toys become rusty and they thought it's a disease it is caused by the virus but it is actually not it's something physical so that is what we are going to learn today about rusting rust okay is it oh oh my goodness isn't that the one my bicycle usually has that reddish brown is that yes, rust, exactly chris ah, okay okay understand so, what is it about rusting we'll be learning today? Okay, first and yeah. foremost, what we are going to learn today is that first, we are going to plan and conduct an experiment okay. to prove a hypothesis. Sure, ah. alright. And then next, we are going to uh, conclude the factors that cause rusting. Okay. And last but not least, we are going to practice science manipulative skill 
after carrying out an experiment. Okay, but it's a bit hard for me to visualize, you know, oh. what rust is. Okay. So I don't maybe teacher you have yeah. Ah, okay. Because of that, Chris, I have prepared a video for you guys. Oh, okay. Let's let's watch the video then. Rusting. Okay. Ah, so that is rusting. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay, so I've got a question for you, Chris. Oh, for me or my friends at, watching at home? <laughs> for Chris and everyone at home who okay, sure. saw the video just now. I know it's a very quick video, but I'm sure you were, you were very observant. So I want you to name at least five rusty objects. Five, five rusty objects. Can uh -huh. my friends at home help me out as well? Five rusty objects based on the video. Um, Okay, I saw a door hinge. Uh huh. Okay, door a door hinge. hinge. Um, oh my goodness, can you help me out? <laughs> help, Chris, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A chair. A chair? Are okay. you sure? Um, a key, a key. Not okay, a chair. Yeah, a, a key. key. Yes, yes, a key. Okay. All right. Um, another three more. Uh, okay, what was it? What? Something that you hold on when you want to go up or down the stairs. Oh, the, the, the rail? Yes, the, the, the stair railing. Rail, yeah. And uh, oh. a padlock? Yeah, yes, that was padlock. one more. Yes, and, and one what is more. the one more? One more. One uh, more. My, yeah. <gasps> ah, yes, correct. Nail. Yes, the... very okay. good, Chris. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Good for job. Me. And okay. what about non rusty objects? Okay, for non rusty objects, uh, there was a t shirt. Yes, t shirt. Okay, and then. Just name two. There was a discount a bit. Slip, was it a slipper? No. Slipper? No. Uh, something to do with wood. It was a wooden. Ah, oh, a wooden what? Uh, uh. Sorry. Uh, one more. <laughs> yeah, help, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm hearing some of my friends helping me. Ta table. Table. Correct. Thank you so okay. much. <laughs> Correct, Correct teacher. Chris. Yes, okay. you are absolutely right. So what Chris has told us is correct. Okay. Uh, for example, mm. uh, door hinge, handrails. Uh, things that are rusty, rusty mm. objects. And okay. uh, the non-rusty objects, for example, a t-shirt, a wooden peg, the um, table, uh, yeah, the table okay. plastic hanger. So now, Chris, yeah. one more question <gasps> for you. Okay, tell me out. Now you know rusty and non-rusty objects. What can you say about these objects? Hmm. hmm. Well, based on the video that teacher just shared with us, I feel that the objects that are made out of iron had rust, whereas the one that were made out of plastic or wood or cloth did not have rust, teacher. Yes, very good. Yay! Chris has just made a generalization okay. that objects made of iron can rust and mm. objects that are not made from iron will not rust. Ah. Very good, Chris. Thank you, thank you, teacher. And, ah. all right, so are, are my friends watching at home okay? Do you understand? Was I correct regarding that? Yes, yeah, you're saying yes, I was correct. You gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> but teacher, how about we take a short break? Is that okay. okay? But before we go for a break, how about you share with us what are we doing today? I see a lot of things here. Uh -huh. We are going to carry out an experiment to simulate <gasps> rusting of objects. Wow, uh -huh. I see. So that is why you have your gloves on. Yes. So my friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for an experiment here on Slot Tahab Duo for Science DLP. We'll see you after this. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so we have this. Okay. KPM DD TV KPM Hello 
everybody, welcome back to Slot Tahap 2 for today's subject which is Science DLP. My name is Chris and I'm also here with teacher Nina. And today's topic, we will be learning about rusting. So just before this, teacher Nina gave us an example of what items rust, what can rust. But now, it looks like we're about to get our hands dirty with some experiments. So, Teacher Nina, what are we going to do next? All right, based on these things on the table right okay. here, we are going to conduct an experiment to simulate how rusting occur. Oh, was it like uh, the video earlier? Okay. Uh, there were two bicycles, right? Yes, talking okay. about the bicycle, I want you to tell everyone, what is rust actually? I'm going to show you something that is rusty. Okay, based on your observation, okay. Chris. What is rust? Ah, what is rust? Hmm. Uh. Yeah, it looks very... Uh, it looks like... Uh, but I would say rust is reddish brown. Mm -hmm. And if you touch the surface, mm -hmm. you can feel that it is rough. The surface is rough. Yes. Okay. That is correct, Chris. Very Yay. good. Rust is something that is reddish brown on the surface of an iron object okay. and when you touch it like Chris said it is rough yes okay so now aha uh -huh. what we are going to do now is we are going to simulate an experiment okay oh. just now we saw about the rusty bicycle so when we are going to try and make it in the studio we're not going to bring Two bicycles, right? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, Thankfully, because I, I thought I, I, I had to bring my bicycle in. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. bicycles are expensive. <laughs> yes. So now we are actually going to uh, replace um, ah. uh, the bicycle because bicycle that is made of iron. Right. So we are going to replace that with something that is um, more cost effective. Ah, okay. okay. So, what so before that, that oh. Chris, yes. you saw just now the video about the bicycle. So why did the bicycle rust? Hmm. Well, what I observed from the video is he left the bicycle outside mm -hmm. and then there was rain, you know, there was mm -hmm. rain and then, you know, I feel like it rusted because there was the presence of water. Yes, is that water correct? And water and also air. Yes, very good. Do I get stars? Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. You'll get stars, Grace. Okay, thank okay. you, teacher. So, to carry out an experiment, first we have to know the problem statement. So, you have mm. to make uh, the statement. Okay, like here, I have here right okay. now. Okay. The problem statement is... Ah, okay, you can see on the screen too. Okay. The problem statement is... What is it, Chris? Do air and water cause rusting? Ah, mm. based on what we saw and maybe what we experience every day. Yes. So now I am going to guide you how to make a hypothesis. Okay. Ah, to carry out an experiment, sure. we need to have an a uh, hypothesis. Mm. It's just very simple. You just need to ah change the statement. Ah. Ah, a bit. Into a, okay. a sentence. Is yes. It? Okay. So the hypothesis for this experiment: mm -hmm. water and air will cause iron wool or nail to rust. Ah ha. Okay. So hypothesis might not be true, but that is why we are going to prove. Move it ah, yeah, in the okay. experiment. Okay, so we are going to start the experiment. Ooh. But wait, oh. we need to know the variables. Right, right. Okay. Variables first. Okay, variables. first one, the constant variable. What is the constant variable? What do you think, Chris? Mm, well, the constant variable is the variable that we don't change uh -huh. throughout the experiment. So I would think it's the quantity of iron nail or iron wool. Yes, exactly. That is what we need to keep the same throughout okay. the experiment so that the experiment will be fair and just. Okay. All right. Next is the manipulated variable. Okay. Okay. Manipulated so manipulated variable. variable is something that we need to change. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. So that we can see if the change will cause any um, respond okay. to the objects that we are experimenting. All right. So, what do you think it is? Can you help me out? Ah. What is the manipulative variable? I'll give you a clue. It, it, it is something that you can relate back to the hypothesis. Hmm. Okay. If I can relate it back to the hypothesis, mm -hmm. I would say it's the presence of air mm -hmm. and the presence of water. Yay! Good job. Thank you so yes. much. Yes, you are right. Absolutely right. Thanks for the help, friends. Uh. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, and last but not least is the responding variable. Okay. Responding variable is what we want to see at the end of the experiment. All right. Ah, what do hmm. we want to see actually? So, why are we doing this? Yes. What for? Why? Why are we doing this? <laughs> why? That is a good question. Ah, well, okay. I would think the responding variable would be to see if the iron nail or wool rusts. Yes, very that, good. Okay. But to put it in a scientific, scientific. sentence, okay. it would be ah. the condition of the iron wool or iron nail. All right. Ah, why do we use iron wool, iron wool or iron nail? Because we can't bring two bicycles inside the studio. Yes, yes. That is why. Plus, I only have one anyway. Oh, I have one? Oh, okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> so maybe the next round. Yes, okay. okay. All right, now we are going to do the experiment. Now, I want everyone to give a well, focus. Please focus on what we are doing. Okay. okay. Tell me, Chris, so you are okay. going to So I'll be do... your lab assistant for yes. the day. Yes. Okay. Here we have... Uh, this is uh, the example. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So the first one, I have... Uh, the objects, the constant okay. variable. Which we can have uh, iron wool. There are two types of iron wool. You can use this one or this one, either one. And also nails. Ah, so mm. for nails, I want Chris to do it. Not this kind of nails, okay? <laughs> iron nails. Iron nails. Yes, make sure they are okay. iron nails and so not. How many uh, should I put in each test? Ah, tube? how many? So I think you can put two. Two. Okay. Ah, so. Um, this one, I use this type of iron wool. And I, uh, for those at home, if you don't have test tubes at home, you can use any type of bottle or container that has a lid uh, ah. so that you can do it at home. If you okay. want to use your mom's uh, scouring uh, iron wool like this yeah, you to can. wash the dishes, but, 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 but please ask for permission <laughs> first. Ask for permission ah, first. They teach you, okay. you. So, it, okay. The, remember the constant variable, we, everything must be in the same quantity. So I have put here the same quantity. Okay. All right. Iron wool. Ah, okay. And here we have two nails in each test tube, which yes. is the constant okay. variable. Okay. So the first one, ah, the first one, the first test tube okay. from the first bottle. Okay, let's see. Okay, the first one. Ah. All right. The first one, just like the sample here. Okay. Just close the lid. Just, ah, close just the attach lid. Okay. the stopper and I'll close the lid. Okay. This is the I'll first put it one. Here. Ah. All right. So in here, there is actually air and water. Ah. What? The, water? The, the, water? Are you sure? <laughs> I only see air. Well, there is actually water in the air in oh. the form of a gas. It okay. is called water vapor. Water vapor. Okay, so okay. there is water and air inside here. Okay, understand. Okay, so this is for the first test tube. Okay. okay I'm going to show Chris one. Ah, so we close it. Okay, attach the stopper. All right. Okay. Okay, All so right. water and air. Okay. Even though there's no water, but, but because in the air there's water, see, yes, water vapor, but right? there. Okay. okay. The second one, ah, yes. here. Ooh, ah, what is that? That is actually anhydrous calcium Chloride. Anhydrous okay. Calcium anhydrous chloride. calcium okay. chloride. Here I have. So what is the purpose ah, of anhydrous so, calcium chloride, teacher? Okay, anhydrous calcium chloride is something that you can add to actually remove moisture, to remove that water vapor. Ah, okay, ah, okay. Okay. Alright, you so, can use a spatula. Okay. Just put some. Okay. But for you at home, if you don't have, a, oh, of course you won't have anhydrous calcium chloride. How much should I put? Uh, just um, half a Half of that. Half of half of this? <laughs> oh no, okay. Just a little bit more. Oh, a little bit more. Okay. okay. So um, at home, you might have your vitamin bottles, right? There are some silica gel in here. You can use that too, okay? Ah, okay. because this actually will absorb moisture from your <gasps> vitamin bottles. Mm. It's oh, okay, Chris. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Okay. okay. And then you... Okay. And then... I'm going to put in some... Okay, and then so we have attach the stopper after that. The anhydrous calcium chloride. Ah, okay. Okay. Yay. So that's it, is it? Yes. So we covered so, this thing. And then? Okay. So what All is right. the condition actually? Okay, hold it up, Chris. Okay, sure. Ah, Let's hold it up. Show to everyone. Okay. So inside here, there is actually no water. But there is air. There is air but no water. Where does the water go? Uh, the it went... Um, 
all the moisture has been absorbed, will be absorbed by the anhydrous ah, calcium chloride. Right, so that is, yeah, because it absorbs the moisture. Yes, okay. okay. All right. So for uh, test tube C, what we are going to add is, okay, this is mine. Yeah, it's your all side, right. okay. This is actually um, boiled tap water. You need to fill it in. Boiled tap water uh, uh, boiled in tap test water. tube C. Okay, yes. Okay. All right, and also uh, you put in some here and some there. Okay, so the question I have, teacher, is yes. how much water should I pour in? Uh, you must cover it. Cover it. Uh -uh. Okay. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay. And then can you do it for me so too? So the, wa the water level is above the nail. Is uh -huh. the nail is fully submerged? Yes. And then I will close okay. this. Meanwhile, I will take some um, tap water here. Okay. All right. Oh, you can see you can see the boiling water as I pour. And remember, you want to submerge the iron wool. Yes. Okay. Okay. Submerge right. the iron wool. For the next one, okay. And then you okay. close it. Okay. Actually, uh, oh. uh, we need to add more oil. But oh, wait. Oh, wait, let's do the, uh, the oh, no, uh, last one. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Put oh. the last one. Okay, this okay, one is uh, boiled tap water. Yeah. Now, it's just normal, normal tap, tap water. Normal tap water. Okay. Okay. So, normal tap water, same level, submerge the nails. Okay. And normal tap water over here. Um, okay, I hope I'm doing it right. My friends at home, I, I are you are you okay? Are you? Yeah. Can you see it? So I've asked permission from my mom to borrow her iron wool to do this experiment. So yeah. So teacher, I just submerge this iron wool with normal tap water. Um, so let's not mix it up with the boiling water. Um, okay. And then, I should cover this first. Let me just cover that. Okay. Mm. So remember, the purpose of doing this experiment is to study the factors that affect rusting for iron. Okay. okay. Have you done it, Chris? Yes, so okay. tap water. Tap water. And, and then, then this boiling water. Yes, okay. The tap water, you need to close just it. Just close it Wait. first, okay. okay. Okay, tap water is closed. Alright. Okay. So, ah, remember the second one, we need to actually add in oil. Okay. Ah, what is the oil for? Okay. Ah, the tap. Yeah. The, what, what is... But I do have a question as well. Uh -huh. Why are we pouring boiling tap water and normal tap water? Ah, this one, we use normal tap water. Yes. Because we are going to uh, simulate uh, the condition where there is water and air. Oh, okay. But for this one, we do not want any air. So that is why we use boiled tap water oh. because when we boil water, the air will be evaporated. evaporated. Okay. And then we need to close it. We need to seal it with oil. Okay, okay. so this is how we are going to do it. Okay. Sure, I will hold it for you, teacher. Okay, so we need to actually first, this is a quite crucial, you need to submerge uh, the dropper oh. into the water. Can you see it, everyone at home? Ah, so okay. we can see that the oil floats above uh, the surface why of the water. Why does the oil mm, float? This is Science 101. Uh, yes. It is because oil is less dense than water. Oh my god, you got it right! Ooh. That is correct. I get Chris. more stars. Yay! Ah, I'm sure the kids remember you learned yes. this in year three mm. about density. So oil is actually less dense than water. Okay. So you need to add. Uh, the one for you. Yeah. Here, right. Okay. So okay. I'll have this. So you uh, do it properly, Chris. Sure. Like, like, like what? what? Uh, okay, like can... how I should just now. Okay. So, but I can't submerge it. Uh, you need to. Uh, oh, okay, like that. Tilt it a bit. Ah, like that. Okay. Can you see? Hold on. Let me just put ah, one more. Right. Okay. Ah. Is. Okay. All right. Ah, don't worry. It is will that... go up. Yes, that yep. is the way. Okay. So we are actually sealing the water, the bulk tap water inside this okay. test tube so that no air from above will go into the water. So we are creating a condition where there is only water mm. but no air. Okay, understand. All right. So, ah, okay. So the so last one, that normal is tap water. normal tap water. Like... No need to put oil. Oh, okay. okay, so now we have... 
all four ready. Yay! Yay! So uh, we, are, uh, we are done with the experiment, right? Yes. Oh, wait. Uh, oh. Not yet, actually. Not yet. Are, wait, are, wait, are, wait. We, are we done with oh, everything? <laughs> yeah, does it look the same, all? Okay, ah. so we got test tube A, yes. which A. is only, only the iron. Yes. Without any water or, you know, just water and air actually inside. Yes, water and air. Okay, Correct. and then we have test tube B, uh -huh. which is uh, with anhydrous calcium chloride. Yes. To test the factor of only air. Air. No, no water. No water, yes. Okay, and then for test tube C, mm -hmm. um, we have boiling tap water. Mm -hmm. And um, sealed with sealed with oil, oil. a layer of oil, mm -hmm. um, and this is to study and observe the factor of only water. Yes, because only water. When we boil no water, there's air. no air. Okay. And the last but not least, we have normal tap water, mm -hmm. um, no oil. Mm -hmm. So this is to study the presence of air and, and water. water. Yes. Okay. So what do we do next, teacher? Ah, now we wait. Oh. We wait for. You know how long? How long At do we wait? Four days. All right, so ah. we'll see you after four days, everyone. Ah. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But let's do take a short break mm -hmm. um, so that, and don't go anywhere, kids, because we'll come back and let's observe what happens to the nails in these test tubes and even the iron wool. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back here on Science DLP with Teacher Nina, only on d TV KPM. Hmm, four days. KPM. DD TV KPM. Hi everyone, we're back on DD TV KPM for Tahab Dua Science DLP with the topic of rusting. Mm -hmm. Here with teacher Nina. And just now, ah. before the break, we did an experiment to find out what are the factors that cause rusting. And we use iron wool and iron nails and put them in different conditions with yes, and yes, without correct. the presence of air and water. And we actually have to leave the experiment ah, yes, for four how long days. was it, teacher? Yes, four we days. we left it for four so days. So we have left. Imagine we have left the experiment for four days and now what are we supposed to do? We have put the iron wool and iron nails into different bottles and test tubes, some with air and water, some without air or water. So what are we going to do next, teacher? All right. After four days, what we are going to do is we are going to observe this experiment. Ah, focus, yes, okay. focus. Look closely at the condition of the iron wool and iron nail inside the bottle and also test tube. Okay, can you please take your test tube? Yes, test tube A. Okay, I'll take the now, test tube. Now, I want you to focus on the iron nail and iron wool. Is there any change in there? What I can see is that in the bottle and in the test, there is only the iron wool and iron nails. We did not add anything else in them. That means there is air and also water vapour in here. Yes, there is air and water vapour in it. Yes, you remembered. Okay, uh, now what I want you to do is, I want you to fill in the table of observation that I have prepared. Ah, this is a very important step in making an experiment. Yes, okay. Presence of air. Is there air in the test tube and okay, bottle? Okay, let me see. I have to fill in Yay, this table here. Good. For test tube A, yes, there is air in it. Yes, and there also is also water yes, in the form of water, water vapour. Very good. The condition oh, of the happened? iron wool and iron nails. Hmm. Hmm? Reddish brown. Yes, well done, Chris. Indeed, the iron wool and iron nails have turned reddish brown. Very good. Okay, now next, let's what look are we at looking test at, tube B and also the second bottle. The second where bottle. Where we have put in some whitish things. I hope you still remember, yes, Chris. Yes, we have added anhydrous calcium chloride those? in the bottle and ah. test tube. And with that, I understand that there is only air inside because the anhydrous ah. calcium chloride has absorbed the moisture. Yes, correct. So anhydrous no calcium correct? chloride. So, what is the function? of anhydrous calcium chloride. Ah, yes, it is to absorb moisture or water vapour inside the test tube and also bottle. Condition of the iron wool and iron nails. Hmm. Well, from what mm -hmm. I can see here, the colour of the iron wool and iron nails still look the same. Ah, yes, There's no, no change, change at all. Ah, I don't yeah, see any reddish-brown parts or spots on the iron wool and iron nails. So, I think that in this set, the bottle and test tube B, yes, no rusting occurred. Ah, yes, you're right. 
Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So I need you now to fill in the observation table. Okay. okay. Now let me fill First up the one. next part of the um, observation table of here. Air. Is there any so air in the B, test tube? There is air. Yes. And mm, water. You're no. right. Well there done. No water. In water? Test tube B. Ah, no water. Why is it? Because water vapor in test tube B has been absorbed by the anhydrous calcium chloride. Okay, the condition, condition. of the Condition. No change. Well done. Good job, yes. Chris. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're very good. Okay, okay now let's look at the is, third yes, test tube, test tube C and, and the, the third, third bottle, bottle here. Let's look what's inside. Ah, we have filled it in with the boiled tap water and also we have added a layer of oil on top. Do you still remember why we did yes, that? Yes, I remember. We poured in boiled tap water because boiling gets rid of the air inside the water. So we wanted to create a condition where there is only water but no air, right teacher? Yes, yes. To get rid of oil, air inside the water. I think it's to seal the airless water so that no air from above the water Yes, that is the function of oil. Very correct? good, Chris. Okay, now. Okay, now I'm, ah. I'm observing okay. the condition of the iron wool and iron nails. Try right. and see with me, okay? Do you see any change in colour? No, right? Alright. And for water, yes. Boiling water. Yes, there is there water There is definitely water. There. Okay. And what about the condition of the iron nail or iron wool? No change. No change. Very good. Okay. Well done, Chris. And last but not least, our last test tube and bottle. Mm. Oh, take a look. Okay, hold it. I'll show it to everyone. Ah, look at this. Oh my goodness, the water is so dirty and murky. Ah. So this is only using tap water. Yes. We didn't seal off any, um, any using oil, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So based on my observation, it seems that in tap water, mm -hmm. the iron nail and iron wool rust. Yes, because you can see... Can you see it, friends? Yeah, look at that. The colour. The colour is reddish brown. Reddish brown. And so that means there is rust on the iron nail and iron wool. Okay, yes. so time okay. to fill now up it's my time for you. Yes. Because after every experiment, we need to... Yes, you need to make a report. Yes. So this is very important for you to write your mm. observation. Mm. Ah. So presence of air in test tube D. Uh, Can you help me out? Is there air? Is there air? Everyone at home? Yes, yes. correct. There is air. There is air in Good water. job, everyone. Okay. And last, but uh, what about water? Is there water? What? Can, I can't hear you. Yes, correct. You're, wow, very good, teacher. Our, <laughs> yes. our friends at home are picking on very yes. fast. Yes, so very that good. So, it's also water. And last but not least, the condition is reddish, reddish brown. brown. Yay. All right. Give yourself oh, a round of applause. Yay. Thanks well so much. done, okay. everyone. Well done, Chris. Okay. okay. Mm. Now, after we have done the observation on yes. our setup, our uh, the settings, our test tubes, our bottles, now we can interpret the data. Oh, uh, okay. We need to interpret and make some discussions on it. Okay. okay. So you need to answer some questions, all right? <gasps> okay. Ah, very easy. The first one. I'll try my best. Among all the four test tubes, Chris. Which test tubes contain rusty iron wool or iron nail? Okay, among all the four test tubes, based mm -hmm. on the data we have analysed, mm -hmm. test tube A and test tube D has rust. Oh, let's see. Is, Is it correct? correct? And Yay! Yes. Very good. Okay. okay, why, why, why? Because there is the presence of air and water, teacher. Air and water. Very and water. good. Okay, Very both good. air and water. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, next one. What about which test tubes or bottles yep. does not contain any rusty nail? Hmm. Mm. Well, obviously we can see that test tube B and mm -hmm. test tube C yes. does not have any yes. rusted uh, yes. nails and iron wood. Yes, none rusty. Okay, yep. so why? Why is it? Mm. Uh, look at look at the table. Okay. Uh, you can answer it based on the data. Why, Help, why, Chris, why? please. Mm, well, based on what I see is because there is either only for test tube B, there uh -huh. is only air. Uh -huh. And for test tube C, there is only water. Yay! Very ah. good. That is very observant and you analyse the data, you interpret the data very clearly. Thank very you, teacher. Very good. Okay. Okay, so okay. now we are going to make a conclusion. Mm. So, Chris, based yes. on from our data, what? are the factors that cause rusting, Chris. Okay, so based on today's experiment, it is safe to say 
that the factors that cause rusting is the presence of air and water, teacher. Yes, very good. Air and water. Both must be present, not either or. So all of us get four stars, Yes, right? four stars. <laughs> amazing, good. amazing. Yes, okay, Chris, I just oh. gave you four stars. Now I will give you five stars if you oh. can complete a homework. I'm giving you a homework and everyone at home. Homework? I'm giving okay a homework, la. yes. Let's, let's do it, let's do uh -huh. it. So what is the homework, teacher? So I need you to find out what are the ways to prevent rust. Because oh. you know, rust is not good, right? Yes, yes, ah, it's not. So you need to find out what are the ways to prevent rust. And I want you to show it in a mind map. Okay. Ah, that I'm will good. give you five stars. And I'm, uh, I think I'm a bit um, democratic today. I think I'm, I want to give six stars. Oh, how did you? Ah, if you can carry out a project, oh. you take something and you try and make it not rusty, Okay. And then you present it maybe to your uh, family, mm. to your teachers, okay? You make a video and then you show, okay? Uh, present your ideas on why you think your project of rust prevention will work. Oh, do the teacher, should we do this on our own? Like, what if I need help? Ah, you can ask your teacher, you can read from your textbook. Oh, okay. Uh, you can search from the internet. There are so many useful sources out there. Right, okay, Aha. okay. So. Kids at home, if you want to get five stars like me, six stars, uh -huh. make six sure to stars do your, our homework, which mm -hmm. is create a mind map on how to prevent rust and also um, do a project yes. and to, to test these, these uh, theories, right? Yes. All right, um, awesome. So while, while we, we prepare some materials to do the homework, how about we take a very quick break? Is that okay, okay teacher? Okay. And then we'll come back for our lesson today on rusting. So don't go anywhere. Join me again back on Science DLP here on the topic of rusting. And let's see how we can get six stars together with teacher Nina. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Hi. Um, so... d TV, KPM. TV KPM. Hi friends, you are now watching Slot Tahap Duo for Science DLP and today's topic we are learning is rusting and I'm here together with teacher Nina and just before this, we actually did uh, an experiment to simulate the factors that cause rusting mm -hmm. like on your bicycle or whatnot but we use nails and iron wool instead yep. and we also did our observations we did our report mm -hmm. so teacher nina what is next so what is uh, the students at home supposed to do right now okay after we have done an experiment we have done the report and we have interpreted the data and make the conclusion okay now i want us to recap a little bit oh. ah okay can you remember the steps? What were what have we done just now? Okay, so remember the steps. The first thing is we prepared four test tubes. Oh, oh, oh. wait, you have to have the problem statement first. Why oh, are we having this experiment? Why are we yes. doing it? So the problem statement mm -hmm. first, which is uh, what factors affect the cause of rusting? Co ah, what cause what rusting? Causes, yeah. What causes rusting, okay. correct. And then we what we do, we create a hypothesis. hypothesis yes, which is that air and water will cause iron to rust. Uh -huh. okay. so After that, hypothesis. we um, control the variables. Okay. So remember the variables. Yes. Okay. Control, manipulated, uh, and, and responding. Yes, control so for con constant variable. Uh, constant, okay. constant variable. Okay. So for constant variable is the number of the uh, quantity, quantity uh, of iron wool yes, or, or iron nail. nail. Uh, and the manipulative manipulative variable is the presence of air, air and, and water. water. Very good. And, and the responding variable for responding variable is the condition of the iron nail or iron wool. Yes, very good. You Thank remember you, them very well. Okay. So, and then we have done all the steps like uh, what we did just now and then we wait for four days or more and mm. we observe. Yes. Okay. Now, you have heard Chris conclude yeah. our um, experiment. So, Chris, yeah. do we accept your hypothesis just now? Hmm, what do you think? Ah. Is our hypothesis accepted for this experiment? Air and water will cause iron to rust. Well, teacher Nina, I think, yes, our hypothesis is accepted. Yes, accepted! Yes. Yay. Good job, guys. Ah, so our hypothesis for today, air and water does 
cost our do very cost nice. rusting. Very okay, nice. very good. Okay, oh. so now Chris, um, I think you have got like four stars, three stars, two right. stars, and uh, pending for that five and six, five and six stars. stars. Yes. Okay. So for overall, I will actually say that Chris, ah, he has got all our uh, learning outcomes, everything. Yes. Yes. Got. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. I, I learned so much today. The yes. three learning outcomes. But yeah. not the last one. Not oh. yet. Last one. Ah, uh, this is what some pupils like to escape from. Oh, what the is it, teacher? Cleaning up time. Ayo, must clean ah, as well, yes, teacher. must clean. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. If you allow me, let me uh, yeah, sure. demonstrate a little bit. Okay. So, just imagine this is our science lab, your science lab in your school. Yes. So after you have done uh, your uh, experiment, you need to clean it. Okay. So what you do is first, I uh, just um, throw um, the rusty iron nail. Yes. Okay. And then, and then you need to wash it. Ah, right. Make sure. Okay. So just wash with tap water. Yes. Teacher? Wash it with tap water. All right. So. Yes, it's very okay. important, especially if you're doing this at home. Yes, um, at home especially. Yeah, if not, your oh. mom <laughs> is going to find you. Excuse okay. me, why did you not clean up your experiment? Yeah, so what you okay. have to do is you need to have the right tools. Oh, okay, okay. what is the right tool? All right, so don't waste water. Yes. Uh, close the tap and then uh, you need to have your... Uh, some some soap. soap and also your brush. Brush. And then ah. brush, 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 brush. Okay. okay. So we do Oops. this for all the four ah, test tubes. Right. Okay, so now we rinse it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Make sure it is thoroughly rinsed. Yes. Okay. So rinse ah. your test tubes, but for you doing oh. at home, you can rinse okay. your your yes. bottles. Yeah. All right. So what okay. I want to show. Yes. Okay, wait, wait. It's not rinsed really well. Okay. Sure. There's still some. Okay. So okay. okay. What I want to show everyone is yes, um, the test tube rack. Okay. Okay. I, if you I can. can hold it for you okay. if you want. All right. Okay. If you see, yep. but it's, it's actually not safe for you to hold it. I oh, think you okay, need so to put, put it okay. down here. All right. If you okay. can see, uh, for the test tube rack, there is actually a place for you to put the washed, uh, the wet test oh, tube. Oh, ah, to dry this, it. Yes. Okay. This is actually a test tube rack and also a drying rack. Yes. So you need to put it here. Yep. Okay, same goes to the bottle that we used just now. You need to wash the bottle too. All right. And ah, so we do the same thing for yes. all those. Now, teacher, I do have a question. What if uh -huh. our friends at home would love to learn more on, on this topic of rusting? Where can they find okay. the resources, teacher? Yes. Uh, besides your own textbook, okay. uh, Science Year 5 textbook, you can search uh, Sumberku. 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 Just okay. type it out, Sumberku, and you will find a lot of modules, science modules that you can search on and you can try answer the questions. Okay. Right. To get more stars, right, teacher? Exactly. <laughs> and, ah, okay. Uh, you All need right. to wash, wash, wash. Okay. All right, okay. I'm going to leave it here. Sure. And don't don't forget to wipe off uh, the wet sure. stuff on the table. All right, okay. so now that everything is cleaned up, Yep. and uh, just before, before that, I would like to tell uh, just say thank you, Teacher Nina, uh -huh. for today's class. I'm sure everyone learned something today, right? If you if you did, give me a thumbs up. Yes, I'm giving you a thumbs up because I know I did learn so much on rusting today. Okay. And with that being said, um, thank you so much for those of you at home for joining us for today's class here on D Science DLP at Slot Tahap 2. And we will see you next time here on Direct TV KPM. But first, let's find out what happened to the robot. Oh, what happened to the robot? Bye, guys. is going to happen to the robot. If you remember the story about the robot, just now that the boy forgot about the robot. Okay, so let's start. Okay, can we have the music again? Oh, nice. ah. Isn't it this is? Oh no, okay. All right, can we start? Okay. Now let me continue my story about the boy and his robot, his diary. He now understands that his robot has become rusty and that it made it look all broken and nasty. What 
can I do? What can I do? I need to help my robot, but I don't have a clue. It's still new and I love it so much, but it can't move. Does it need to wear a crutch? Suddenly, he remembered a lesson he was taught. During science class, yes, via online something he jotted. There's a rust removal solution that he can try on page 174 on your science textbook. Now he must apply. Okay, mix vinegar, soda bicarbonate and salt. Stir really well in a container and make no fault. Pour into a bottle and voila! Now it's ready. Just spray it and wait and brush it off. Steady! Hey, it's magic! It's magic! All the rust has gone. My robot looks brand new and active and so on. I must remember the factors that cause iron to rust. Air and water, my friends. Remember, you must. Bye. Didik TV. KPM.